yeah sure sir uh good evening everyone and uh, welcome to indian bank fourth quarter fy22 results con call uh we have with us today uh, indian bank top management including mr sr jain uh, the ed cfos uh, we would request first sir to uh, talk about the recent results uh, uh, briefly and also provide some outlook for the next year uh, uh, particularly in light of the current macroeconomic scenario Uh, uh touching upon the points like growth uh, uh, margins asset quality outlook uh, over to you sir thank you welcome all investors and analysts in this first result con call as far as our business is concerned our business has grown by 9% the business has grown on deposit by 10% and credit by 6% under deposit our saving deposit has grown by 8% current deposit by 14 percent so casa has grown by 9% and we are maintaining around 42% casa ratio our credit is basically grown 11% in ram which was earlier a 58% now a 61% in this engine is doing well and and this ram growth 61 is back on the retail credit growth of 15% here housing loan has grown by 13% Auto loan has grown by 15 percent, personal loan 42 percent, jewel loan 25 percent, and in agri we have grown by 12 percent. Crop loan has grown by 6 percent, but 65 percent of the crop loan is jewel loan, which is growing at a rate of 14 percent. Investment credit is grown by 46 percent. Agri allied is growing 88 percent. infrastructure or agro processing is growing by 13% so all segments of the agriculture credit is growing ssg we are growing 22% msme we are grown by 6% under msme micro 5 small 6 and medium 6 so this entire ram all segment of the ram are growing and at at a healthy rate and that is by 11% when 60% of 1% of the portfolio is growing at 11% corporate credit if you see our result for september december and march between september to december we have grown by 3000 crore from december to march of course here this looking 1600 but after adjustment of technical write up which is around again a 3000 crore so 2% per per quarter so 8% so considering all this we have grown 6% but you see 61% is 61% is ram which is growing 11% so 11 in 11% on 61 is around a 7% growth comes and 22% every quarter on corporate so 8% so put together we are expecting that minimum we should grow 8 to 10% in the next financial year now coming to the profitability part year on year i was discuss our net profit has grown by 31% from 3,005 crore to 3,945 crores. Our operating profit has grown 16 percent, and we have made the entire provision of pension of 465 crore in the this financial year only. Our NII has grown 7 percent. Our non-interest income has grown by 22 percent, and non-interest income is grown on the strength of recovery in bad debt from 600 crore to. 1,612 crore, that is 161%. Fee-based income has grown 8%. Forex income has grown 70%, and PSNC commission has grown 39%. So whole year, or the, the strength of our operating profit and net profit growth is increase in spread and increase in non-interest income, and expenditures remain more or less more or less flat. We have of course provided 465 crore entire in the in the last financial year and 403 crore in the last quarter if you see the quarterly performance of march 22 vis a vis march 21 our net profit is showing is minus 42% the main reason is that last year we have made the defer tax credit at the last quarter of the financial year and from june 21 we have changed our accounting policy and and on a quarterly basis we are doing and therefore it is showing as a as a 
negative 42 percent. But if you see the PBT profit before tax, it, it is growing by 3 percent. But if you exclude this one time provision of 403 crore, so even the PBT is, itself is growing 54 percent. So, and the operating profit is 15 percent after considering this pension, otherwise it would have grown by 31 percent or so. That likewise, in the last quarter also, the over fee based income is continuously growing. Forex income has grown from 165 to 274 crores and PSLC from 107 to 42. So, from profitability point of view, it was a satisfying year. Now, as you come to the NPS, or NPS has come down from 9.13 of the last quarter to 8.47 in past quarter. Let likewise, Net NPA has also come down from 2.72 to 2.27 and PCR improved from 85 to 87%. The slippage in the last quarter was around 3,300 crore, of which major 1,000 crore is in corporate, but here is one big retail account of 821 crore. Otherwise, our recovery was good. It is against the total slippage of 3,300 crore. Recovery was 2,800 crore. And this breakup of the slippers, you can say retail is 477 crore, agree is 417, MSME is 1431. So 2325 and corporate 973. So that is a slippers. Now capital side, we are comfortable. We are having 16.53% capital education is against 11.5% of the regulatory requirements. So oh, we hope that our Generation will take care of our capital requirement for our growth in business. As far as SMA numbers are concerned, it was 0.93% for 5 crore and above. In December, we are at 0.92% of the more or less on the same quarter. As far as restructuring book is concerned, we are having 18,000 crore of a restructured book, which is 4.42%. So in the, the question regarding margins and RPI or margin has improved year on year basis from 2.85 to 2.91. And go, of course, in the last quarter, it has come down slightly. It is because of interest reversal and less number of days in the last quarter is compared to the December quarter. Going forward, as we are having a 42% CASA. We are maintaining the CASA at 42%. And we are having liquidity because our LCR is around 169%. So we have, have a adequate liquidity, but we'll take a call for interest rate on deposit based on the market and as and when the situation so arise. But on asset side, our 44% of our asset is in a repo link. And with the increase on repo, Naturally, the interest income should increase. So, considering this and also considering this, if it, it all we need to increase our deposit rate, it will have a lag effect. So, the income side will get a benefit is against the liability side. So, we should be able to protect our margin or our margin should be in the same range in the next financial year. Now, I am open for questions. Yeah, thank you, sir, uh, uh, for the uh, detailed, uh, you know, update that you have given. Uh, I'll first ask Mr. Ashok Ajmer, I think he has raised his hand uh, uh, to ask a question. Uh, Ashok ji, please go ahead, uh, but please restrict your questions to two or three minutes. Yeah, permit, yeah. permit me to go ahead. ask a few questions. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Jen sir. Uh, excellent result. Uh, good uh, net profit increase in the quarter to quarter also from 689 to 984. Asset quality has also improved. Uh, sir, having said that, I have a few observations and some uh, data point and questions, if you permit me, sir. Uh, sir, you had stated last time that there is a need of the R is to focus the consistency in growth and business and enhance income. So, sir, coupled with that, you had also said that 84,000 crore of pensions are in Pipeline 22,000 crore in that last quarter itself you had received. But if you look at the advances growth, I mean, our corporate advance uh, book is, I think, flat. Only the RAM, uh, RAM is little bit of increasing. 
so sir on that what are your views for the coming quarter or maybe coming quarter itself uh, why only a target of only 8 to 10% why can't we go to 12 to 14% sir when you are having a good capital edifice this is my first question i'll if you can answer it or shall i so you raise your second question also sir sir there are uh, sir on the credit cost also uh, uh, last time we had stated that 2.55% credit cost which was there if you remove that 1% which was in one big account it should have been 1.65% but now in this quarter also it is 2.15% so our credit cost is not coming under under control this is my another observation and if you can throw some light on that uh, coupled with that uh, you know narcl uh, out of the total 34 accounts you had stated that eight accounts were identified but out of that eight also three were resolved and only the five accounts now will go to NARCL. So where do we stand today when NARCL might be in the current quarter now start, you know, taking these loans from you? So what is this, those uh, number of accounts or the amount which will go to uh, NARCL, which will give some, uh, you know, uh, information on the our gross NPA side? These are the few questions, but I have some more. So please, if you can just uh, give the answer. Yes, sir. So one, one was regarding the credit growth in the corporate side. Of course, RMB is growing. And I told that we'll grow further. So, you see, the quarter on quarter, I told you 3,000 crore every quarter we are growing. Now, fact remained in the last quarter, there's a huge liquidity in the system. In the sum of the loans where interest rates are not sustainable level, and we were having more gain or more income by deploying to some other source, then we have preferred to deploy that and earn more interest income and more spread than putting our money in, in, the, in the unsustainable rate of interest. That was the main reason. Otherwise, we are having huge sanction in hand. Today also, we are last quarter in itself, we have sanctioned around 26,000 new crores. New loan, 26,000 crores. And we are having a par partially dispersed loan, also 8,000 crores. You are told that why you, you are telling the credit growth for 8 to 10 percent. So this is the minimum which we should get. And now you see with the inflation, when the commodity prices are increasing, naturally working capital utilization will increase. So we should be able to grow more than that. But this is the minimum to, to my mind. Now, the second point is about the credit cost we talked about. So last quarter, this quarter, this quarter also we have provided for a big account also, uh, around 90% around, around of that big account which has slipped this. So that is why this credit cost is increasing. And you see our our that net in, uh, net yes. NPA has come down substantially to 8,800 crore from around 12,000 crore of the last year. So going forward, that that provisioning requirement should be less. Sir, uh, NARCL, sir, some... Uh... Uh, yeah, NARCL out of eight accounts, three are already been resolved. Five accounts, hopefully in this quarter, they should be transferred to NARCL and our exposure is around 1,200 crore or around 90% of this has already been Return off. Ninety percent is return off, sir. My one last question is on uh, our investment book, sir. We have got a AFS book of forty one thousand nine thirty one crore. Now the interest rates, uh, you know, hardening up. Uh, how much hit? Uh, because so far we have done well. I mean, on the investment, uh, if you see on the segment wise, also there is a good income of one thousand six hundred forty five crore in this quarter. So now going forward with such a large, uh, you know, AFS uh, book, uh, where do we stand now, sir? Uh, have we taken the advantage of in the last last couple of days, I mean, couple of weeks of this AFS or we are still holding on and and what are your views of for this quarter on the investment side, sir? Our treasury is very active, sir. We have taken advantage of that also. And we are protected up to 7.40% of a, of a yield. So as on, as on date, we are not having any provisions on account of that. Since we have churned our portfolio in the on the on the first week of April itself, yeah. as far as your point that the income was 1,600 crore of a last last year in trade, trading profit, how this income will be in the next year? So you see, our we have we have increased our revenue streams. You see, our, our forex income has grown last year from 2,200 crore of a last year. We have already 1,600, so around 500 crore reduction in. Trading profit in 2022 is against 2021, but 300 crore we have compensated by way of forex income. So this 
we have we have we will be a, uh, having the income from other streams as well going forward to compensate this kind of in, income in, in addition to that we will be having income by way of spread also because now now the interest rate has increased and we can deploy our money at a better rate so just a parting question is this round 18000 crore of restructured book how much is the covid restructured uh, in this sir this 18000 crore is a covid restructure sir this is 4.4% of our book these are covid restructured yeah okay sir thank you sir i'll come back again uh, with the time permit thank you thank you thank a lot sir. thank you thank you for interest yeah. thank you mr ajmera uh if any participant has a question please raise your hand or type your, your question in the chat chat box uh so meanwhile i had one question uh, related to the asset quality so this quarter again we have seen across banks the sme nps have been on a higher side uh, uh so why what is the reason for that and so is also the case for agri nps uh secondly uh, any resolution pipeline that you have uh, uh, going forward uh because i believe the larger account which was supposed to slip which is future retail has already slipped in the current quarter so now going forward how do we see our overall asset quality outlook yes sir asset quality basically the two basic thing is one is a your what what you call that collection efficiency now collection efficiency is 95% for quarter on quarter it is increasing second is our sma One and two, so I say we one and two is at around point nine to nine three percent, and the slippage is mainly comes in the in the MSME book. Here also in MSME book, so part of the part of the slippage has come from the restructuring book. Part of the slippage is other than restructuring book, and if I go deeper into the restructure in the slippage, half of the restructuring is in a small account, micro account, micro account. Of course, there. mostly we are covered under the cgt msc and somewhere we are covered under the under the ecl gs so loss loss given default will be less going and part of the restructuring has come from the sme so you see the the, the, the commodity prices have increased right they need a, they need a more money when the demand is not there so that and in the first first month january or there was omicron and other issues so because of that because of that there is a, there is a sleep is but we expect that part of this money will be able to recover in the current quarter and so any lumpy resolution that you expecting in next 6 months like iln affairs or any of that yeah two, two three big account where we are expecting that we'll get a good money is this nil is a big amount big account where we can get a good amount and others there is other three four account where the resolution coc has already approved the resolution and the as and when will get the ncl approval will get money okay sure sir so we have next question from jay uh, jay please go ahead yeah hi sir good evening i have couple of questions uh, first is sir again on msme right so the general expectation was that we have restructured some of the borderline cases and of course ecl gs money has also been given to those so just wanted to check sir why is that msme slippages are rising uh, for the last maybe 2 3 quarters and this quarter is even bigger uh, uh, are they coming from accounts which were restructured earlier or had ecl gs dispensation and now that you know they are supposed to pay from restructuring or ecl gs is that causing a bit of a pain there Yes, sir. This MS, this this slippage has come mainly from this one thousand four hundred crore of a slippage, right? So six hundred crore comes from the micro, very small, small account, and six hundred crore from the SME books. So you see, there is a there was a Omicron issue, there was a demand issues, there the increase in commodity prices. Of course, we are supporting them, but these are the three four major reasons for their slippage. But as far as bank is concerned, bank is concerned. We, we are hopeful that we will cover. We can recover. major part of this slippage in the current current financial year and also wherever the account is could not be recovered that we have a cgt msc cover and a, even the ecl gs cover right sir if you have the quantum that out of this 1400 crores 
uh, how much uh, was um, was the loans which uh, which were earlier restructured or had ECLGS dispensation? Just to understand the quality uh, within restructuring or ECLGS book. So, out of this fourteen hundred crores, maybe around three hundred fifty or four hundred crores, are from the restructuring book. Of of last we have done this for COVID. Right. And any movement from ECLGS book, sir? So basically, ECLGS we have given for twenty percent, right? Right. So, but out of this amount, up to twenty percent, maybe fifteen or twenty percent, is for ECLGS. So that amount we will receive from the CJTMSE. Right. But sir, I mean, just to understand this, if you have given fifteen twenty percent, but when it account slips, then the entire hundred rupee will slip, right? So. Uh, Right, you are right, hundred percent entire. But as far as the loss given default to the bank is concerned, I am talking from that point of view. And wherever, okay. wherever they are, we will go for restructuring also if they need some support. Still, since the account has become LP, even then we will do restructuring if they are viable. Correct. Okay. And sir, we used to share this SMA book for you know every loan account. I mean, below five crores also. Uh, if you have that number, uh, maybe you can read out the retail, agri, MSME, corporate, uh, including the below five crore ticket uh, ticket size. What we have done, we have compared over present this disclosure vis a vis others, and if par with the industry, we have given this five crore and above. Otherwise, this number we will provide you no issue at all. Okay, understood, sir. And secondly, sir, on on a slightly uh, let's say twelve months horizon, your if I look at last two three years, you know uh, we had loan to deposit ratio which was slightly near about seventy five percent pre COVID, and we we used to maintain that uh, for a reasonable amount of time. Now that has dropped to sixty five percent roughly, which is around thousand basis point decline, and clearly uh, you know there is some. Uh, uh, there there is some excess liquidity etc. But what is your thought process on LDR? Uh, I mean, where, where do you think the LCR. you know? In, yeah, no, no, not the LCR, sir. Uh, loan to deposit okay, CD. ratio, CD, CD ratio. CD ratio. Yes, sir. So which is earlier was seventy five. It has now come down to sixty five. Uh, what is your sense uh, that you know uh, where it could where it could stabilize? Because clearly it is at the bottom right now. No, our CD ratio is not sixty five, sir. It is seventy percent. Okay. It is seventy seventy percent, and and going forward, it is likely to increase, sir. Because when right. we will have a more credit, automatically it will increase. Correct. But sir, I think if I have compared so, this, earlier, it was seventy three, seventy four, five. So basically, when you are getting the deposit at a lower rate, and you can deploy other places and get some return, then we take deposit also. Sir. Because whatever money we take, we should be able to deploy it either in a forex market or a credit market, and we should be able to earn. That is why this maybe two three percent here and there. Okay, so that okay, and last last two things, sir. One is for tax rate for FY twenty three. Uh, how should one look at FY twenty three tax rate? Would it still be a negative number? That tax uh, this year twenty one twenty two we were having the accumulated losses right for twenty two twenty three we will assess our position very soon maybe in the next quarter when we file our income tax return but some of the benefits we should be able to get for the part of the next financial year as well right okay and and just lastly uh, this earlier this MSME restructuring uh, uh, restructuring scheme. Right. How much is that, sir? I mean, if I were to um, include the adjust for the overlap, that apart from eighteen thousand crore of uh, COVID restructuring, how much is the earlier CDR and MSME scheme? Sir, it is very difficult to say because these accounts might last, have been restructured. But last quarter, there are two kind, two kind, two, two kind of disclosures. Basically, banks do as per RBI guideline, but is a Restructuring is for the three circulars, right? Including right. the COVID restructuring account, where we have to show even the NPA account as well. Where we have shown four thousand crores, right? And right. second second disclosure is this eighteen thousand crores. 
so that the 4000 in road includes nps as, as well right okay and rp1 as well so there is a huge overlapping there right okay understood sir i'll i'll come back in the queue thank you so much for your response yeah thank you jay uh, sir i think jay was referring to the cd ratio which is global cd ratio about 65 66% and i think you are referring to the domestic cd ratio 70% Uh, yes. So we have next question from Dikshit. Uh, uh, Dikshit, please go ahead. Uh, Dikshit, uh, please unmute yourself and ask a question. Yeah, uh, I think he's not answering. Hello. Uh, yeah, Dikshit, please go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, so I have two, three questions. Firstly, uh, you know, uh, as the chairman sir mentioned, uh, uh, you mentioned that we are having a comfortable capital adequacy of 16% and uh, looking at 8 to 10% growth target and, uh, you know, our uh, gross NPA, net NPA is also coming down. So uh, what was the requirement for raising equity of up to 4,000 crore? Because 4,000 crore is a big sum for us. Uh, you know, bank like that. So that this was the question. You see, our our credit outstanding is 4,15,000 crore. And we are told that we will grow around 10%. So 14,000 crores. And our generally the RWA comes around 65%. So around 30,000 crore, right? So at 11.5% is our capital requirement. So 3,000 400 or 500 crores. We are last year profit was 3,900. Keeping this in mind, we are told that our generation will be educated to take care of our growth. Now, the why the why this 4,000 crore? This is an enabling provisions. We have taken approval from the board and will take approval from the shareholder. Is and when the opportunity arise in the next financial year, we will go. So this is only an enabling provisions. Okay, and also you. Uh... As and when, let's say, need arises, you may Otherwise, otherwise every time dollars. you have to go for AGM, EGM, and everything. Okay, okay. Because, you know, uh, if we are at half a book value and, you know, raising such a large amount will be very detrimental. This is the enabling provision, sir. And if the situation so arises, otherwise you have to undergo with the AGM, AGM, and it's a long run process. And suppose okay. here we are having AGM after, immediately after our result. So this is, this will give us a, a opportunity to take approval from the shareholders. Okay. Uh, now, my second question, uh, uh, next two question is, one is, uh, what, what, uh, what is the guidance for credit cost for FI23? Uh, and uh, if you can just, uh, uh, again, elaborate on the future retail account, so how much is the outstanding and how much is the provided? So, from the credit cost point of view, you see, so our net NP has come down substantially, right? So 30% has come down March from the March 21 level. So naturally our easing provision requirement will be less in the next financial year and therefore, therefore our credit cost should come down. But how this will pan out in the whole year, it is very difficult to say. But considering the present situation, it should come down. Now the sec second, second point for the future retail we talked about, we are having a 851 crore of a outstanding and we are already provided around 89-90%. Okay, thanks. That's it from my side. Yeah, thank you, Dikshit. Uh, next question we have from Mona. Uh, Mona Khedan, please ask a question. Yeah, hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, so, my first question is on the restructured book. Uh, if you could give the breakup between uh, various segments, agri, MSME, retail, etc. Yeah, it is very much there in my presentation, madam. Okay. Now, it is okay, there sure. in the presentation, entire, entire 14 category wise, retail, agri, MSME, but sure, sir, I'll take it from how much there. cash recovery we have. You can see the slide number 34 or 51. Got it. And uh, uh, just again on the restructured book, so uh, what percentage of the loans are today out of moratorium and have started billing? If you could give some uh, sense there. 
ओके दैट व्हाट परसेंटेज ऑफ हेस कम आउट फ्रॉम मोरिटोरियम दैट विल टेल यू मैडम एक्जेक्टली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू देम मे बी मे बी अराउंड 50 60% 50 60% एम कम आउट फ्रॉम द मोरिटोरियम ओके ओके and uh, uh, while you have mentioned about uh, 180 uh, 18000 crore of restructured book uh, under otr and another 4000 or so under msme restructuring if we include all this no, there is overlapping madam there is overlapping yeah yeah exactly so you had mentioned a number of 20000 crore last quarter how much would this be x of any overlap this time so the, i i told you this 4000 crore includes trenche one restructuring Right. Trenche two restructuring and RP one restructuring. The three three right. restructuring and the PA and the NBA both. That was the one disclosure. Second disclosure right. is eighteen thousand crore is only RP one and RP two. So by default RP one is in both side. First point. Second point is that NBA is also added in the RP, that disclosure. So that is right. why I told major major part is is overlap and our NBA. Okay. so if i have to uh, uh, you know uh, get some sense on the standard restructured book it will be fair to take a 18000 crore kind of number yeah 18422 okay this will include large part of the msme book also that is standard restructured right right under the relief scheme okay right. okay sure and uh, uh, how much Where would be stand in terms of the total ECL GS disbursement so far? Yeah, total ECL disbursement is around. Okay, yeah, this is that um, slide number seven, ten thousand five hundred and ninety-six crore. Okay, and so this will be the total disbursement. Eight, yeah, and, and present outstanding is eight thousand nine hundred eighty-three crore. Okay. Okay, and uh, just finally, so. Uh, uh, from your presentation it looks like uh, just a broad number uh, in terms of what has slipped from the restructured book it seems that 8 to 9% of the loans over the year have already slipped from the restructured book is that a fair understanding no no i i'll, I'll clear you that understanding maybe around 5% of the loan except this big loan this this retail around 5 or 6% okay. I, i'm just telling you how you see the slippage is one thousand seven hundred eighty five crore, right? Up of this corporate is eight fifty one, so remaining is nine hundred thirty four, and over over restructuring was around nineteen thousand, right? Nineteen plus two twenty one thousand. So twenty one thousand out of this twenty one thousand nine thirty four is the slips. So around a four and a half percent also. Okay, If, and including the retail group exposure, it will be uh, yeah, yeah. around. So, so okay. if, if if I have to compare nine thirty four with the with the RAM RAM restructuring, it. it is around around eighteen thousand sixteen plus two eighteen thousand and nine thirty four. So around four four and a half to five percent. Got it. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot. That was useful. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Mona. Next question we have from Maruk. Uh, Maruk, please go ahead. Yeah, hello, sir. Uh, so my question, yes, hi. So uh, my question, sorry uh, to be repetitive, but what was your ECL GS slippage during the quarter? So ECL GS slippage, better for the total slippage was three hundred fifty. Could could be the ECL GS. so what you mentioned as restructuring that was the eclgs slippage okay and no, so how much but madam point is that in msme we have given 10% 20% also so if the account has slip automatically it includes eclgs as well na so so point is that whatever slippage we are showing it includes eclgs slippage and 350 crore is that component 350 crore is that 20% of the ECLGS that way yeah yeah somewhere But 20 somewhere 18 some some money might have come some okay okay got it got it and so the uh, thank you so much sir and so the other question is how much incremental did you provide for how, that, that we are not calculating how much incremental is in this, this we are not calculating because money is fungible na No, in terms 
but you see our yield has increased in the quarter or quarter or investment or investment or investment yield has increased right and our yes madam okay uh, maru you are not okay, audible sir. thank you thank you okay uh, uh i just wanted a clarification on what is the fresh provision on retail this quarter so uh, on future retail so this account is we are having a balance of 851 crore and we are having a provision of around 89% or so Okay, so this account, this account Thank has been slipped. So part of the provision we were having when the account was restructured because as per the restructuring guideline, also you have to keep ten percent or so as a provision. So incremental provision is a provision, or FITL provision we might be having that will continue. Okay, so thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, sir, we have one question which has come in the chat box, and that is related to your accumulated losses. So, uh, can you provide the figure of like what's the amount of accumulated losses that you have uh, uh, on the balance sheet now? No, we are not having any accumulated losses, sir. Uh, Bank so is continuously in profit. No, no. So basically, the past losses coming in from Alhabad. So that, Bank. that that we have already adjusted. I think a one and half year back by debiting to the share premium account. Okay, so the the tax benefit that we continue to get it is primarily because related to this DTA, right? Uh, which was created on the back of accumulated losses. Right, right, right. Yeah, that is a tax benefit on the provisions of us while Allahabad. Sure. So, what is the DTA um, uh, uh, figure on the balance sheet? Today we are around three thousand four hundred crores. Okay, so that means that we will have a lower tax rate even in FY twenty three. And if yes, in part uh, of the in part of the year, we should have. Okay, sure. Uh, so, second question, which has come in the chat box, is related to your SME uh, book. Uh, so, that's a broader uh, industry question. Is that uh, how is the competitive intensity shaping up into the MSME space, with most banks now talking about getting into this space uh, uh, aggressively? Uh, so, if you can just talk about uh, uh, on the competition side in the MSME space and what kind of yields are you generating uh, uh, in in that space? That that uh, that's also if you can answer. Actually, in MSME space, we are aggressive in some front. One is a cluster financing. We have it, we are having fifty nine clusters, and there we are growing, growing in 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 double digit, and the NPA level is less. So the one the fifty nine percent we are. We are planning to add 24, 25 more customers and clusters, and we came out with a cluster-specific scheme. This is a one area. Second area, we are aggressive is in a rice meal or a dal meal, agro processing, where 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 the customers, which are making continuously profit, right, and having a relationship with us or who have left the with us in past, we are trying to bring them back based on our best schemes. Second. We are aggressive in that uh, front. Third one is that retail trade and all, which is a part of no MSME. We are also aggressive on that. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, sir, the another question which has come in the chat box is related to your staff cost during the current quarter, which seems to be very high. Uh, so, what is the reason for the higher staff cost during the quarter? So, so uh, yeah, I, I I told you in the first evening that we have provided the. Total family pension cost in the last quarter, so that was around four hundred three crore. In fact, four hundred sixty-five crore is the total cost on account of family pension. In September quarter, we provided thirty-one. In December quarter, we provided thirty-one because as per RBI guideline, we can amortize over a period of five year maximum. And remaining four hundred three crore, we have provided in the last quarter, and that is that is the reason our staff cost is. Showing increasing trend. If you adjust this, it is more or less on the same level. So we are done with this family pension thing. Yeah, that is. Done. So we are not not carrying anything forward. Not, no liability sure. we are carrying. So sure. balance sheet is ready for future again. Sure. Uh, next question we have from Ashok Kajmeraji. Yeah, please uh, go ahead. Thanks for giving me this opportunity again. Sir, one uh, small data point. 
the advanced uh, credit figure uh, as per the presentation is 4,15,625 crore, whereas the balance sheet it is 3,89,186 crore. So the difference of 26,439 crore, whereas our net NPA is only 8,848 crore. So, uh, uh, what is the difference uh, figure? Uh, can if the CFO? Sir, sir, I can tell you. Sir. I was a CFO earlier. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so remember, remaining part is basically as per Banking Regulation Act. Provision is to be deducted from the gross advances, and that is why it is not showing in balance. The balance sheet we are showing it is a net number. Yeah, sir, but that is also not exactly anyway. I mean, there may be some minor small uh, section also. Okay, sir. Now, yeah, my it's a minor uh, is yeah. FIT, FIT, yes, sir. I can tell you, tell you minor also. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, my next question was that we have acquired some loan account of uh, RBD 465 crore, retail 2230 crore, MSME 1566 crore. Uh, uh, and 10 percent is retained by the person from whom uh, from the uh, we bought. So, what is the uh, uh, credit quality of this these accounts? And secondly, what is the cost of acquisition of these accounts? This loan book. Yes, yeah, so basically, RBI is allowed co-lending, right? So, in co-lending, some percentage is remained with the with the originator, and 80 or 90 percent remains comes to the bank. So here. We are doing cherry picking, sir, based on the civil score, based on the based on the customer's behavior, and we select the account and we take. Sir, it is a account acquisition or it is a under a co-lending arrangement. I mean, uh, generally in co-lending it is 2080, and these are for the fresh loans which are given by those companies under the co-lending. This is, I think, the if you look at okay, the okay. note number. Okay, okay, okay. So this is one arrangement. Second one is a pool purchase. We do pool purchase also, and pool purchase also we do cherry picking based on the civil score. And generally, uh, what is the cost of acquisition of this? Uh, uh, you know, I just want to compare that if the yeah, bank. Does... Huh, sir, yeah, yeah. So, so you see, sir, it depends on customer, customer, what kind of loan we are taking, and what is the current market rate. And suppose, suppose in a housing loan, right? We, we, our interest rate between 725 to 750 civil score is say 6.8%, 6.9%. And if it, in the same civil score, we will be able to take from other originator for us, whether we do direct or we do indirect, we are making the same uh, margin. All right, sir, I, I'll, I'll take the offline uh, because I just wanted to understand. Anyway, sir, in case of SR, we have an outstanding SR of 3,210 crore fully provided for. Uh, what is the expectation of uh, uh, you know recovery from these SRs in next? Uh, I mean, the coming year. Uh, is there any good chances of some asset getting realized and uh, we get good money from these SRs? This, this way, actually, every time we based on the NAV, we calculate, right? I think last year also 644 crore of SR has been redeemed. So account to account, SR to SR, we take both. Sir, uh, on the non-SLR front, we have corporate bond of uh, 10,402 crores. I believe they are all double uh, A or uh, A or double A rated uh, corporate bond, uh, 10,402 crores. Yeah, generally, generally we take triple A, double A, A even also bonds, right? So some bond, some banks bonds, some institutions bonds. This is a treasury operation, sir. We keep on buying. Wherever we are getting a better rate, we will be buying. Any provision made on that? No, sir. Except this standard. And there is one other other, other non-SLR of 509 crore. What it could be, sir? Uh, in other yes, SLR investment? Just to, This can be a CP or... Just a minute, let me check. But... Uh, it can be oh. CP or... Oh, CPs also must be A plus rated. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, 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 we will provide you separately, sir. Maybe CP and all. It was two, 2018 crore in March, now it come down to 500. CP only. CP only, sir. It should be CP. CP only, sir. And this, uh, 
this ARC cell, that 90 crore uh, benefit which we got, I think we have reduced it from the provision, as per the note. Any any yeah. plans for the further sale to uh, ARC other yes, than sir, any? Yes, sir. We are we, we identified some of the accounts, right? And so uh, we will come out with our aid and everything. This year also we, we will be selling, maybe around 300, 400 crore. That will be a better proposition than to give to NARCL? So whatever is better will go, sir. In NARCL, first identify these accounts, right? So in our case also, this 9 plus 9, 18 accounts, first these accounts will go. Then, then, then. Then it will be decided about the new level of account. So yeah. this is one part. Second part is smaller account. Smaller account, if we get an opportunity, will recover our money. Some some approximate idea of how much uh, gross NPA is going out from this ARC sale in the coming year. Hmm? So okay, but since eighty seven percent of our book is provided for, so sir, we are having thirteen percent, and some of these accounts even technically return off. So, how much will be from the technical return of account and how much will be from the gross NPA? At the time of getting bid only, we will be able to tell. Yes, sir. Point well taken, sir. Uh, thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity second time and congratulations, sir, again. You also declared a good dividend of six and a half rupees at 65 percent. And I hope that Thank you, you remain on the positive track. And I am mainly concerned about now the credit, uh, of course, this temporary period is a new, is a blip actually, this uh, Russian-Ukraine war and the, what is happening around in the globally. But it may be a temporary phase of maybe one, two months, three months. But overall, I think I think our economy is going to grow and I think there, there can be a lot of opportunity to grow your book also. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, sir, we have one question in the chat box related to our SME slippages. The... The, the investor want to understand what percentage of or, or basically in absolute terms uh, what came in from the ECLGS, what came in from the restructured pool and how much was the fresh slippage, mainly in the MSME pool. Okay, so that, our MS, MSME slippage are of 1,431 crore, right? Yes. So 364 com comes from the restructured books. Okay. And that... Maybe around around 15% or so, maybe from the ECLGS because 20% or so we have given for uh, ECLGS. So remaining from the new. Okay, and so what was the reason for this fresh slippages being so high, somewhere about I think thousand odd crores or maybe nine hundred to thousand odd crores? Yeah, that I told you know, that the major slippages come from the micro less than ten lakh segments, around six hundred odd crores. And because of, you see, because of the situations on Omicron or increase in prices or less demand, there will be a number of factors. Okay. And so now we, uh, we should not see any further slippages from SME book? Uh, to in... No, sir. We, we are in a business. Okay. No, no. I am so talking India about... Our India, will, our India will be to control this. So but basically, you know, the way we have seen... So we have seen 1,000 odd crores of fresh slippage. I think that's very high amount, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, whether that number will come no, down. That is why I told you part of the amount we will recover in this current quarter. Only. And sir, basically, what? So, how basically are we going to recover? Is it going to be some uh, 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 kind of legal recourse that we're going to take, or basically these customers are the one who are on AG and basically just did not paid uh, at the end of 31st March? How how it is going to be recovered? For recovery, sir, the follow-up is a one, one, one way. Second one is somewhere they will sell the asset or suppose because of liquidity they could not pay in March, they can pay in April, May or June. That can be the reason. And, and upgrades takes place, sir. Upgrade, upgrades are always take place. If you see the performance, even 25, 30%, always upgrade takes place. Okay, sure. Uh, next question we have from Jay Jay. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. I had a small uh, couple of questions. One is, sir, on yield, if I see uh, quarter on quarter, the yields have dropped by 19 basis point. So if you uh, if you can throw some light that, you know, why would the yields drop uh, so much? So there are two, two reasons, sir. 
one is, is in the March quarter, the number of days are less than the December quarter by two days. So one factor is that. Second is there is an interest reversal of around 58 crores on, on account of NPA. These are the two reasons and that is why the yield has come. Okay, understood. And uh, secondly, sir, if you if you can uh, if, if you can show the PV01 for our AFS book uh, and where are we, I mean, as of March, when we had reported 165 crores of MTM, uh, when, I mean, what was the benchmark at which we did the valuation? Was it like the March end or this was something else? No, we, 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 we the evaluation has been done on the March end. In April, we have done the churning of the portfolio as we do from HTM to AFS or AFS to HTM. Right. Right. And then the MTM will come in your AFS book. So as on date, we are not having any depreciation. Sir, in case, uh, a, sir, uh, what is your PV01 if you have that number for AFS book? Maybe, maybe it is it is less, it is less than nine, ten lakhs, nine lakhs, nine lakhs plus something. Okay. And sir, hypothetically, if let's say yields were to go down, go up by fifty basis point, and you have IFR, I think you are fully compliant on uh, uh, IFR at two percent. Uh, could you draw down from that, or that would need explicit RBI approval? So we can draw down, but we have not drawn down last year. So we are having the two percent full amount we are having in that. Area. No, no. So going forward, sir, would would draw down need explicit RBI approval, or you can do it without? No, no, uh, sir. No, as per as per as per guidelines, you can draw. Understood. Yes, sir. So, and, and sir, if you can uh, refresh the guidance on slippages and credit cost, I, I think I had missed out in your opening remarks. No, credit cost project is a 2.25, right? But credit cost depends on your existing NPA and the price slippage. These are two major factors. I told you that our existing net NPA is, has come down 30% from the March 21 level. Because of that, there is a there was a increased credit cost last year because of this two NBFCs account and this one big account that we are two NBFC where we have made a hundred percent provision on in this retail account we are eighty nine percent of a provision so there is a higher credit cost but going forward it should come down but exactly number will depends how this current year will pan out sir. understood sir yeah that is it sir very helpful thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Uh, Mona, do you have any question? No, thanks, Anand. Okay, sure. Uh, sir, we do not have any further questions. So, uh, yeah, I think one question which has come in the chat box is related to your AFS portfolio. Uh, so, what is the duration of our AFS portfolio? Currently, the duration is around 2.1 or so. Okay, and... Uh, how much of 2.54 as of 31st March, which has come down to 2.1. Sure. And sir, another question is about your security receipts. So, in fact, in some of the banks, we had seen that uh, banks had taken big hit on the security receipts in the in the current quarter. Uh, so, what is your sense over there? For how in, basically the all, is going to happen? All, our, all exposure in security receipts are fully provided for. Fully provided. Okay. So, so, our net SR at this point of time will be zero? Right, right, sir. Okay, sure, sir. Uh, I think we do not have any further questions. Uh, maybe if you can have some closing remarks, then basically we. Thank you. Thank you all analysts and investors for continuing interest in Indian Bank and we require your continuous support. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh, thanks all participants for being on the call. Have a nice uh, evening. That's it. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you.